Osioni God. Hello everyone, my name is Shanista Cloud. I'm the Outreach Coordinator at the Cherokee Heritage Center. Today I'm going to teach you about Cherokee Marbles. Uh, Cherokee Marbles is a game that Cherokees have played for centuries. Originally, of course, we didn't play with modern pool balls. We played with marbles that we actually made by hand. We would take chunks of rock, marble, or limestone, and we would grind them and uh, carve them down and polish them, make them really smooth and shiny. And we could get a piece of rock just as smooth and round as this pool ball, just using our hands and tools that we found in nature. Uh, nowadays, we play with these pool balls because they're roughly the same size and weight as the old traditional marbles. And, of course, they have numbers and colors on them, so it makes it easier for the kids to remember which marble is theirs while they're playing. If, the marble making is a, kind of a, a lost art where there's still a few art, artisans that make marbles, but not very many. So if it's something that you're interested in or you'd like to know more about marble making, please feel free to contact us at the Cherokee Heritage Center, and we'd be um, really excited to put you in contact with some of those artisans that still make marbles today. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, teach you a little bit about this version of marbles that we're going to play today. Um, it's a little bit of a simplified version of marbles. It's what we teach the kids at the schools, uh, mainly because we don't have a lot of time with the kids when we go to the schools. So um, I'm going to teach you this version because it's a good version for beginners and it's one that you can play in your backyard like what I'm going to do today. Okay. So the first thing is you're going to need some pool balls kind of like these. You can get a set of these pool or billiard balls online for around $20 to $25. You just want enough marbles to, uh, to play with your family or with your group. You're also going to need some stakes or some little yard flag, something that you can uh, put in the ground. That way it'll show you where the holes are. And then you'll need some tools like a trowel or a hammer to dig your holes with. So we're gonna have a, you're gonna indicate a starting point anywhere you want, and that'll be where your first flag goes in the ground, and this will be where you start all of your first turns. And then from there, you're just going to pace off about five paces straight out in front of you. So this will be where our first hole is. And I'm just going to take this hammer, just the claw back on the hammer, and dig up some of that soil. You want to pull up some of the weeds and the grass around it, that way you've got a nice area for your marble. This version of marbles, uh, all, all versions of marbles I should say, are played with holes in the ground. So it's similar to uh, playing golf. Um, this version I'm going to teach you today is kind of a combination between golf and croquet. So I'm going to grab one of my marbles. I'm going to use this to make the holes. <laughs> and Miss Luna is going to help me. So I'm just going to put that marble in there and kind of push it in. That makes a nice round shape for my hole. I just kind of smooth it out. And that's how we're going to make each one of the holes. Today we're only going to play with three holes. <laughs> so we're going to start here and we're going to pace off another five paces straight out from the first two markers. So this will be my second hole right here. I'm gonna make sure it's kind of lined up. Oh, this will be where my second hole goes. Just gonna pull up some of that grass so that your marble doesn't run into it. <coughs> then you're gonna take your marble again, press it down, and just kind of smooth everything down. Now you can have as many holes as you want when you play. Uh, today we're just gonna use three. So from the last hole in line, you're gonna pace off another five paces but this time you're going to go at an angle. So we're kind of playing on an L shape here. So this will be the last hole. Same as before. Stake in the ground. Dig 
dig that grass up. And you put your marble there. And just kind of smooth everything down. All right, so we've got our marble field laid out. We've got three holes in this field. Like I said, you can play with as many holes as you want. This is just a simple version just to get you started. All right, so we've got our field laid out. So now we can start playing. Whoever's gonna go first, you're gonna stand behind this post. There's still people that play serious marble tournaments nowadays. We have marble tournaments during the Cherokee National Holiday. So they are real sticklers about the rules. So you wanna start out behind this post and anytime you start your turn, you wanna make sure your feet are planted in the ground. You don't wanna move your feet. If you were to move your feet or step while you're taking your turn, they'll kick you out of the game. <laughs> so you wanna start behind this post, plant your feet, don't move your feet. Then you're gonna take your marble and you're gonna roll it toward that first hole. You have to make it in that first hole before you can go on to the next hole. And then you have to make it in that hole before you go on to the last one. So I'm gonna take my marble and I'm just gonna roll it underhand toward that first hole. So I didn't quite make it. So my turn's done. I'm gonna leave my marble right where it is and I'm gonna wait for my turn to come around again. Okay, so now it's Josh's turn. He's gonna do exactly what I did. He's gonna stand behind the post. He's gonna aim for that first hole. Oh, he didn't quite make it either. So he's gonna wait on his turn to come around again. So now since it's just the two of us, it'll be my turn next. Okay, so it's my turn again. I found my marble. I'm gonna stand behind it with my toes pointed at the hole that I'm aiming at. And I'm really close to the hole, so I don't even have to roll it in. So long as I can reach out and set it in the hole without touching the ground or without landing on my knees or anything, I can do that, that's legal. I can just reach out and set it in the hole. Now, since I made it in that hole, I can immediately take another turn. So once again, I'm gonna stand behind this hole. I'm gonna pick up the marble and I'm gonna aim for the next one. Okay. Now here's where you can use a little bit of strategy. If you wanna be really mean, <laughs> you can hit other people's marbles. And by doing that, you get to take another turn. So I've got Josh's marble right here in front of me. So I'm gonna take mine and I'm just gonna tap it out of the way. <laughs> and I missed. So if you can tap that other person's marble out of the way, you get to take another turn. And it puts you a little bit closer to the hole. It's a little bit of a strategy, but you can only do that three times in one turn. Okay. All right, Josh's turn again. All right, he made it, so he's gonna take another turn. Feet behind the hole, and he's aiming downfield at the next hole. Didn't quite make it, so we're still playing. All right, my turn again. I'm real close, so I'm just gonna reach out and set it in the hole, okay? Now I'm aiming for the last hole. The last hole is special. That hole is called poison. If you can make it in that hole, then you become poison, and you get to try to take other players out of the game. So the way you do that is, once you've made it in that last hole, you're going to uh, pick out one of the other marbles on the field, and just like before, you're gonna stand behind it, you're gonna point your toes at the marble that you're aiming for, and then you're gonna pick it up and try to hit that marble. And if you hit it, you knock them out of the game, okay? So I'm gonna try to make it in poison. Not quite, a little heavy. And, go ahead. All right, so he made it. So now he gets to take his next turn, aiming for poison. All right. So maybe if I can make this hole, this will be the last hole of the game. All right, so I've made it in poison, so. Since Josh is the only one here, I'm going to call that one out. I'm going to say the red number three. I'm going to make sure I call it that way. It's a good throw and no one's saying, well, you weren't aiming for that one. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up my marble and I'm just going to click it just like that. Then I'll pick up his marble. I'll hand it to him, tell him good game, and he's out. Now, if Josh were poison also, say we had a lot more people playing and there was more than one person that was poison, I would have to hit his marble three times in a row before I could knock him out. So one, two, three, just like that. Same thing, I would pick up his marble, hand it to him, tell him good game, okay? 
Um, that's the simplified version of Cherokee Marbles. If you're interested in playing the longer version with a few more instructions, we'll have the information available on our website. We hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, it's a beautiful spring day and I thought maybe this would be another good activity for families while everyone's cooped up at home. Um, if you're interested in um, furthering our mission and helping support the Cherokee Heritage Center, please visit our website at www.cherokeeheritage.org forward slash support. What